Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Alice Rita. To all my new and returning subscribers, thank you for coming to watch this video. In my video today, I'm going to be telling you about setting up the style in Word document. If you've not already watched my last video where I talked about setting up your style before starting your writing, please check that out. However, in my video today, I just want to show you the latest updates and smart guide that can help you as you're writing along. I've prepared a document here, which are text that I copied from an abstract. The text are not mild, but I just want to use this to quickly show, use it for my demonstration today. And if you've not already set up your style for the, for, if you don't know how to set up the style, it's easy. When you've in the home window, in the home page of your Word document, once you've opened the document, you just have to click on the style pane. That's going to open up a drop down menu. And the drop down menu, normally it will show you the different guide. You can decide to set up your own by just clicking on new style and giving it a name. You can decide to name it as a chapter or sub chapter or paragraph, just give it a name. You can decide, okay, if this style you're setting up, if it's a paragraph or if it's for a table, you can decide on this as you're setting it up. And also you can define the form font type you want to use, the font size. If you want, if it's a main chapter, you might want to click that it should be bold. And you can decide if you want it to align to the left or to the right or center and the line spacing also you should check with check what method is using your for your report writing you can check the university website and once you're done you click on ok and with that it will be easy for you when you're writing like if you define your main chapter for me for my writing in the last video i show how i set this up I have already defined for the main chapter, the sub the section and the subsections and the rest. So if this is the first text I've written, I'll just click on that, that's my main chapter. You can see that when I clicked on that, it automatically applied the setting that I've defined for this. Similarly for this one, if it's a subsection, it's a section, just click on that. And this is the body of the text. So I'll just click on it's already in a normal format so i don't have to do anything and for the figure you can see that there's a caption here if you check here there should be the caption yes it's already in caption so if you if your caption is not well defined if you like now here it's like it's a single spacing i prefer my caption to be double spacing so i will just modify it and Tell it that it has to be double spacing when you click on OK automatically it applies and you can just do this for the subsequent page of your of your of the subsequent paragraphs that you have. So the part that I really want to talk about today that will make your life easy as you're walking along is that there is the latest updates the style guide that is among the latest word document updates that came into place and that is after you've defined your style you should click on show style guide if you click on this it automatically color codes your document so that you can know what what style you've applied to the different section like here our main heading you can see that it's showing as an orange or red color a section it's showing in pink the body of text is showing in blue Similarly, you can see that here, where is the caption? It it's, was able to assign its color to it and gave it a name. So if you are writing your th your thesis or report so that you don't have the headache of when you're generating a table of content, you should try and use this show style guide after you've defined your guide, after you've defined your style. I hope you find this uh, little update very helpful. And until next time, bye.